are the things that we needed in making a terrarium? Stones, soil, water, plants, and sex, and empty jar. Here are the steps in making my terrarium. First, I'll put all the stones that I gathered. Second, I'll put the soil. The soil that I use in my terrarium came from the garden outside our house. The next step, we're putting all the plants that I gathered. I'll make sure that the plants that I use in my terrarium are those plants that can survive in, uh, in small spaces like the jar. As you can see, I'll put some bark on a tree in my terrarium. And I put some stones on it. After putting all of this, I'll put my insect and my insect will be the worm. And that was it. That's my terrarium. And after this, I'll put some water on it. And then cover it with the cup. That was it. That's my terrarium. The first day of my terrarium is going so well. All the things that I put inside my terrarium are alive. As you can see, the worm is freely moving around my terrarium. And also, the plants are also alive. And that's the first day of my terrarium. by the second day of my terrarium. As you can see, there were formation of moist inside the jar. And also, my worm is climbing on the woods. On the third day, there is still moist formation inside my jar after exposing it to the, on the sun. Also, the plants and the worm inside my terrarium are still alive. On the fourth day, I caught my worm roaming around my jar. As you can see, the plants are growing healthy. There are still formation of moist inside my jar, and also the plants and the worm are still alive. As you can see in my video, the plant is slowly covering or climbing on the woods. Yeah. On the sixth day, as I am searching the worm inside my jar, I have noticed that the stones I put inside my jar are turning into green. On the seventh and last day of my terrarium, I see my worm is active and alive. Also, my plants are also green and alive. That's why I conclude that my terrarium is a success. In making my 
Stiragio. All the materials that I needed in my terrarium are found near in my house or inside my house so that I would not have a hard time in searching for the materials that I would use in my terrarium. And also the factors that I considered in choosing the living organisms that uh, I place in my terrarium are their survival in the small spaces like a jar so that uh, the plants and the, or the living organism that I will put will last for long. Lastly, the insight that I learned in observing the setup in seven days is that uh, this terrarium is like a small earth where the water uh, under the earth when it's uh, when it is directed directly hit by the sunlight it will evaporize and that evaporized water will soon turn into rain and that is that and that is occurring in my terrarium as you can see in my video the jar in my terrarium are full of moist and that moist is the evaporated water under the soil in my terrarium and that's and that's the learning that i observe in in the setup in seven days.